Well, hello, welcome to another uh, episode of A Little Psalm Thing. Today we're looking at Psalm 2 and verses 4 through 6. He who sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. Psalm 2 is about the sovereignty of King Jesus. Uh, the rulers, uh, the influencers in this world are going to try to uh, supplant Jesus, try to remove him from his position of authority. Uh, but in response to their feeble attempts to do so, God merely laughs. Um, no one can sway God. No one can take his position of sovereignty away from him. Uh, no one can remove him from his authority. A and that authority God has given to his son has given to his king, and he has set him on his holy hill, it says. And that act of, of setting his son on his holy hill is the act of enthronement, uh, of, of coronation, we could say. Um, this ensures God's total uh, dominion and domination uh, of his power throughout the world. When we come to the uh, New Testament, though, we learn uh, that this means something uh, different than what we would have expected. Because the hill where God sets his son is Golgotha. It's the cross. Uh, God sets his son on this hill, not for a coronation, but actually for a crucifixion. And so we, we learn that this is a bizarre, uh, counterintuitive, a mysterious way to conquer. Yet the resurrection and the subsequent ascension into heaven where now King Jesus does reign on the holy Mount Zion in the heavenly Jerusalem, it proves that it worked. It worked. And so what we learn as we look at this psalm and its fulfillment in the New Testament that God's ways will always be foolish in the eyes of the world. Uh, and they will often look weak in comparison. It will often look much more like defeat. But dear Christians, I want you to take heart. Uh, if it seems like the rulers, the influencers of this world are, are having their way, um, are supplanting God's sovereignty, look to the cross. Because it's there when the world thought that they had defeated God, where they actually ensured his victory.